Okay, this video we're going to look at the truth of tr transgenderism, where it actually came from. This is a quote from Margaret Sanger, um, back in about 80 or 90 years ago. And uh, she was one of the founder of the plan Planned Parenthood in America. Um, it says from her book, Woman and the New Race. And so the past uh, over 100 years, what we've had is uh, the socialist governments of the earth trying to create a new race um, within a race. And uh, genetics has very much been involved in this. And the whole eugenics um, outlook um, about select natural selection, you know, obviously was within Darwinism as well. She said the most merciful thing that a large family does to one of his infant members is to kill it. This is the key word here for the transgender issue, because what these people have been trying to do is mentally break down uh, people. Um, that maybe lean more to the effeminate nature or lean more to the masculine nature. Now there is males and females which could lean either or. But taking the whole gender thing out, which transgenderism is really about, it's really about creating a new race. And so we're referred to, to as it's now, to kill it. It's not even likened to being a, a human being. Uh, now the word human, so we're very used to using the words that they've taught us how to use. But if you look in a dictionary <coughs> about the legalese meaning of a human, a human means beast. A human means beast. And so if you say, for example, you're not created in God's image, um, then you're choosing to be a human, a beast, and you're referred to as an it, according to the Ill these Illuminists. I'm not sure if she'd be a member of a secret society. She might well, she might well be. But their agenda really is to bring, break down the genders, and create a new race without gender. You see, which takes. Um, arguably takes the humanity out of the human race but what it actually does is take the image of God out of the quote unquote human race because the Bible talks about God creating in his image a man and a woman and so that's what you truly are if you're um, especially if you're a Bible believer even if you're not that's what you truly are you're a man if, you, if you're created a uh, male uh, you are a man, even though you might have leanings towards uh, effeminate things, but <laughs> um, I believe that's spiritually related. I think there's some good videos, even Sid Roth, uh, other Christian programs talk about ex-Sodomites and then the spirit of Sodomy being driven out, driven out of them, um, which you must recognize is a real thing, because there's so many people with testimonies about coming to the Lord who were attracted to the same sex and uh, you know through deliverance prayers um, they recognize now that it was a spiritual condition it's not a genetic problem it's a spiritual condition you see everything basically even diseases um, mostly originate in the spiritual realms and so this is, I know it sounds crazy about binding up spirits of witchcraft, binding up uh, spirits which go against the nature you were born with, um, binding up uh, demons of lust, binding up demons of, let's say for example, um, well, sodomy, whatever, whatever you want to, whatever you're struggling with, you know, economics or whatever it may be, mental disorders, um, 
obsessive compulsive disorders you know all these are caused by spirits they're not they're not they're not physical conditions you can take medication for because today people are not getting healed through the med medication through taking the phar pharma pharmaceutical industry which is referred to in the Bible in the book of Revelation as quite simply pharmaceutica which is which is a type of uh, witchcraft really I'm not saying some of that can help people but what I'm saying is that it, it never heals anyone only God can heal you of any disease or mental condition or whatever it may be and so this is really what the devil is doing he wants you to recognize that uh, you're not uh, God didn't create you um, you are just a evolved from a monkey which evolved from whatever else all the way back to a rock which doesn't make any sense so how can a rock evolve into living matter and so on ah you know you can scrutinize that statement you know you can uh, whatever you want to do but at the end of the day it's never been proven but their goal is to create this uh, genderless genderless godless race a genderless god godless race a lot of these things actually uh, stem from feminism as well because you'll actually find when you read a lot of uh, books about uh, about these particular subjects Planned Parenthood sometimes it's to give women their liberty back you know let's say for example they, they, they've had a child outside of um, well what they say is, is their will maybe they've, they've decided to stay with someone and then they get pregnant and then they decide oh they don't want kids or whatever whatever happens so it's sort of designed to give women power you know empower women empower women to kill their offspring does that sound godly does it sound biblical to you does it sound as if that particular woman who would make that decision would be influenced by the Holy Spirit would be influenced by God or influenced by Satan just saying if someone's trying to get you to kill one of your children do you think that's something God would do do you think that's something Christians would encourage now I dare say a lot of these uh, Planned Parenthood people might even attend churches right um, but Jesus says you got to look at the fruit before you judge the tree you must look at the fruit before you judge the tree you know this is one of the Nazi scientists um, well they, they did all that stuff during I'm, I'm not sure if this was a Nazi scientist but they did all this type of stuff measuring skulls and you know it's all to do with your race and they're trying to work out different races use Darwinism um, you know <laughs> criminals criminals uh, you know are equated with uh, you know black Africans is very very sad very wicked wicked thing I see what else she says Slavs, Latins, and Hebrew immigrants are human weeds. A dead weight of human waste. Black soldiers and Jews are a menace to the race. You agree with that? If you do, you might be referred to as a racist. But if you do, you also, I think you're pretty much mentally ill because you're not recognizing that God actually created all the races in the earth, including Edom including uh, the Hebrews including uh, Europeans um, which is all different types of races within each continent you know and this 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 is just stupid this is just really really stupid compared to with what the Bible teaches these people are clearly are not Christians again even though they might pretend to be Christians but they're not Christians this is not 
Adolf Hitler wasn't a Christian. He, he did attend the Catholic Church from a young age. Um, if, if you don't believe me, then, well, let, let's type it in and see what comes up. Oh, wow. Wow, I wasn't just making it up. <laughs> this is some outside Our Lady Catholic Church in Nuremberg. Uh, this is him at the, at the uh, I was going to say at the Vatican. I don't think that was at the Vatican. It'd probably be Berlin or somewhere. This was at the Vatican, I think. Having a nice birthday party in the Vatican. Oh, it is in Berlin, sorry. Both of them were in Berlin. But we know that he visited uh, the Vatican as well. You know, he got Jews to wear little yellow stars. And, and you get some people that say, well, they weren't even Jews anyway, so j just kill them anyway, it doesn't matter. They weren't even Jews, they were, human be they were human beings. They were men and women created in the image of God. That's who they were. And this animal, or this man also, is created in the image of God, but he wants to deny that, and he wants to go down the eugenics route. He believes in that Lucifer is God, he's a Luciferian, um, etc., etc. And people model themselves after this man. You know, there's tribes in Africa that love Adolf Hitler. They aspire to be like Adolf Hitler in South Africa as well. Um, while they torture and kill um, any race which, which isn't their race. Racism is horrible. It's not biblical. But that's the way the world is um, going. The fact that the Catholic Church has come to an agreement with fascist Italy proves beyond doubt that the fascist world of ideas is closer to Christianity <laughs> in, his, in his absolutely insane mind than those of Jewish liberalism or even atheistic Marxism. So, so he's mixed in Jewish liberalism with atheistic Marxism, which is <laughs> it's kind of like oil and water really. But the guy was insane. But you, you might you might admire him. You you might think he was a genius or something like that. <laughs> Whether you're black or white, you think, oh, the guy. If you're a racist, you love you love people like this. You love Adolf Hitler. It's shocking to think that he pretended to be a Christian. It's shocking to actually think that he pretended that he was a believer in Jesus Christ, but he he was a devil. He was an absolute um, Luciferian. National Government Guard, it's first and foremost duty. <laughs> Revive a nation spirit, yeah. Well, it's not it's not the Holy Spirit, uh, that's for certain, that, that was reviving that nation. <sighs> um, now, what, what do we have today? This is more than a dodgy pizza that this uh, female, right? Or this... This woman born a man has had more than a dodgy pizza. <laughs> I believe this uh, person or it actually gave birth this year. Uh, one of the first ones, men, to actually give birth. Now, of, of course, that she or he would have been in some hormone treatment for several years. Obviously, their plumbing would have been rearranged. I believe mostly it's artificial insemination. Um, but if 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 you're going to start spending money on people getting sex changes in the NHS, no wonder the NHS is is going down the tubes. Uh, I wonder if he he pay, he paid for this privately, or I wonder if it was paid for him. You know, when there's people with cancer, hereditary diseases that need operations. And they, they, they're getting backlisted and, and uh, people like this are just saying, well, I want to become a woman. Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, all right. I'll give you the operation on the NHS. Now, what what does this look like to you? I, I'll show you what it looks, looks like to me. Um... 
let's try and get one of these images here we just bind you demons of witchcraft demons of Satan we bind you in the name of Yahshua the Messiah do not attack anyone who's watching this video but this is the society that uh, is being promoted through through the socialist governments of the earth again socialism is being used to promote this uh, it generation this new human generation this thing's got a goat's head it's got female breasts uh, it's got some sort of a pose down here I think that's as above so below or it's all mixed up it's all wickedness basically whereas you know Satan and the fallen angels are up in the upper atmosphere that's what that's what this is, stands for it's not talking about heaven it's literally pointing up to say like our father you know our ancestors or whatever come from the upper heavens the fallen and they're in the second heaven now that's where the, the fallen angels are and Lucifer and Satan they're not in hell and he's pointing now to the earth to see as above so below hmm <laughs> very occult uh, meaning there but um, this is the new the new humanity that that these socialists or these um, Marxists even even though Hitler wasn't necessarily a Marxist but he was certainly within the satanic agenda he was only carrying out orders from his um, satanic hierarchy who, who were very much uh, probably in the Swiss Alps let's see I believe they actually um, oh there's Madonna Uh, I I think I've I've seen videos of them taking some type of oath in schools in Switzerland. Was this not the tunnel opening? Uh, I thought that was the Swiss tunnel opening last year. And let's let's see what it says about that. Yeah, here it is. It's the goat, and then sort of breasted whatever it something now it says that in heaven the angels don't have gender and so in the bible it says that the, the original fallen angels were able to take any appearance that they wanted and they chose to appear as men on the earth and it says in Genesis 6 that they took the human women they saw that the the daughters let's, let's just put it in yeah sons of God came to the daughters of men and they bear children to them and then it says the same become mighty men men of renown ok so there were giants in the earth in those days as we see some of them are very very massive and we see a lot of YouTube channels now um, describing this like here we see some you know even the place of the skull where Christ is crucified very much looks like that I'm not sure if that is Israel but it looks like that and these are places from around the world that looks like a face there some of the first giants which the fallen angels married human women some of them were meant to be about this size they were absolutely massive massive that they couldn't actually procreate but God destroyed them all at the flood and now we get them about this size seven eight nine feet tall these Nephilim races right throughout all the different colors and kindreds of the world China, Japan, Africa, Europe, North America, South America and so on this
could have been a tree stump um, from the old world. It could be something petrified, that's for sure. And it would obviously, I think uh, the king of Babylon had a dream that he saw a tree which um, engulfed the entire earth. And I suppose a tree that size would truly, you know, if you can imagine the branches going out, it would, it would be massive, It'd be about the size of a country. Be absolutely huge. You know, tales like Jack and the Beanstalk might not exactly be complete lies. You know, massive footprints. I think South um, South Africa is a place where a lot of this is is actually seen. Some people think that's where the human race originates from, but I don't think the human race originates from there. But perhaps. Perhaps the old world Nephilim races, a lot of them originated from there, and this is this is uh, there's also a connection with the World Wide Web and the Standing Stones and the net that we've actually saw take life the past uh, twenty or so years, the internet. All this is old world technology which has been restarted again. Like the technology we have just now is probably at least about 20 or 30 years more advanced at least during the time when Noah was alive. Um, I've received visions about this and I've studied it and I've heard other Christians uh, confirm things to me that this was the case. You know you can check out Ron Wyatt's work um, about this. I mean, look at the size of that. If that, if that was a face. It's huge. Oh, there's another one that's a dragon in Spain, I believe. It looks like a dragon. Let, let's try and get that one. Let's try and... Oops. Let's try and get that one. Well, that's the dragon tree, which can live for several thousand years. Um... Uh, what about this uh, dragon shaped mountain? Let's try and get a picture of it. This man was the ideal German soldier, pictured on bull uh, bulletin boards and posters throughout Germany as the ideal German soldier. And then they unfortunately discovered that he was Jewish. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Um, just how Satan deceives the nations and did that especially in the Second World War the First World War you know, it was fought for its own reasons it was meant to be the war that end, ended all wars but Satan has been very busy the past hundred years um, with his racism and racism is always a major card in, in any major war between nations but you see, um, you know, the Nazis portraying this is the, the, you know, the the great example of a, a Nazi soldier. Now, yes, there were Ashkenazi Jews who served under Hitler. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, it wasn't just Ashkenazi Jews, I believe. But, um, but the thing is, you know, is is that. Um, Satan is just uh, playing with the races, truly, truly just playing with the races. A lot of people think that um, mostly Sephardic Jews died at the hands of the Nazis between one and six million, whichever you prefer, but it's at least a million and it's around six million that um, were said to have been starved, um, burned. Uh, killed, executed, tortured, etc., etc., going through eugenics experiments uh, with the, the Nazi scientists. You just got to look at that and see, see the, the real root cause of the world's problems is spiritual. It's not, it's not physical. It's not because someone looks like a monkey or someone looks like better or worse than anyone else. Um, God says in his word not to judge by appearance. And yet this is how we're told to judge each other by appearance. 
if you look a little bit effeminate well you could be uh, just go and get the operation why don't you you know you know I can just imagine it now in you know their nurse nurseries and playgroup hey George you, you, you fancy wearing a dress today uh, um, you know not really next day hey George you know it's, it's some of your friends there I think one of them even tried the dress on the other day sure you don't want to try one on well no no not really the next day um, let's let's draw a picture with boys wearing dresses now George are you sure you don't want to wear a dress well uh, maybe right get him off to the hospital give him the operation he wants to be a girl you know that's that's the society and the culture is being promoted now today three and four year olds um, who can't don't really know what they want for breakfast um, you can't drink until you're 18 years old uh, do certain things it used to be 21 you know the age limit for things and now you're getting three and four year olds um, being told uh, oh well George today uh, you know had little signs that he wanted to be a girl so just take him off and give him the operation and uh, he will lose his entire family lineage forever because he won't be able to produce any children unless they go through extensive surgery um, and get you know sperm I don't know how, how they would do it but it's said that you know if a girl wants to be a man th th there's no way that a woman can produce seed you know that that's not been done yet that's not been achieved yet by quote unquote science so let's try and find that dragon picture shall we oh yeah and by the way Hitler died in uh, I think it was Colombia or it used to be called Colombia but it's now called Colombia there's evidence that he stayed in Argentina as well um, so there you go oh yeah and I did a recent video about this chap uh, Joshua Sutcliffe um, for addressing the girls in his class as girls he faces um, a possible career expulsion for addressing a girl as a girl wow who wants to be known as a male but apparently was still a girl so you know I, I think he's suggesting uh, Philip Schofield I made a video about it but there was copyright I took it off the channel but Philip Schofield just gets Christians on or anyone who's um, offering society something positive and they get them on there and try and rip them to sh rip them to shreds you know I think as the undescript beast in the book of Daniel the fourth beast is the undescript beast with the teeth of iron and and that's what these people are doing they're trying to rip society to shreds destroy not just uh, Christianity but literally destroy men and women from the face of the earth and re recreate them in the, their God's image which is uh, yeah anyhow and isn't it interesting that by the way I just I just took, I just looked at this one as well I'm a black woman slowly turning white and you can just see it's like you know wow what what is race really it's nothing we're we're all created in the image of God race race apparently is just a color you know race is more than a color but you know when you look at it like like that it's she's a human being man you know she's she's human anyhow well this is another one in Spain it does look a little bit like a type of dragon in there petrified possibly it could be what do you think giant dragon well basically the user uh, took off his channel it was uh, Madeira in Portugal actually and uh, this should be out here even though this video isn't talking about this specifically you can see just about a dragon eye there where my mouse is it's just right in the middle of what could be a head there and then the back of the dragon you know comes back um, if, if you see the entire image it looks very much like a, a petrified dragon um, several 
probably about a hundred foot, probably two hundred foot in size. Uh, absolutely massive. And then you're seeing a lot of this on YouTube. This is like uh, huge footprints. Again, we see we see a lot of those. Uh, this is Michael Tellinger, you know, in uh, South Africa, who's quite well known, of course. <laughs> so, these are real footprints, which in effect puts the size of that being at approximately, approximately uh, 30 foot tall. Um, and these petrified footprints would probably go back to pre-flood era on Google Maps and as you can see this could have been the, the, the one he meant you can see the, the nostrils here of the dragon the possible eye here um, and the body going back but uh, very interesting I would say There's a lot of rock formations that look human-like with faces and animal-like but uh, just did a quick search for this I'm not sure if this is the place in Med uh, Medina which uh, he was referring to wow it looks like a storm there <laughs> it's just something uh, wrong with the spec of the camera it's what happens when you try and take a panel panel what's, what's the word panoramic panoramic view on your camera <laughs> you just see many many people who have been uh, in the transgender thing and even been uh, gay or bisexual and have come with the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ that they've been given their life back and uh, that they've had children um, hallelujah is one such, such example here just many many examples of people who have just taken that choice to seek God for themselves and um, understand we are sinners and uh, all this is self worship this is what Satan promotes is the worship of self you know you have a right to be what you want to you know be what you want or do what you want to do um, the satanic gospel is that you should uh, do what you like basically do as you want to do and let that be the whole of the law I think that's uh, what the satanic bible says but that is not God's word we're created for a purpose and a reason we're given gender um, first and foremost to serve God with and also to produce children if it's the Lord's will and um, we can only really do that in a godly marriage many many such testimonies you know it's not to say marriages are easy but um, it's just to say that uh, yes we should work on our spirituality Christianity through just repenting just through seeking the Lord Jesus Christ and allowing God to teach us and bless us in our life hallelujah and so just leave these thoughts with you that um, you are loved by God um, no matter what your position is in life but we're all sinners we are all fallen short of the glory of God therefore um, our image has been messed with by by the prince of this world who really wants to take the privileges away that God has given you in order to grow and have children to identify with your own gender which I think is very necessary before you go on and you might try to empathize with the, the opposite sex or the opposite gender but it's important to understand who we are in Christ and we're meant to be new creatures in Christ and that's not what uh, Planned Parenthood is all about, it's not Christian in fact it's a, a direct movement against uh, God's word um, Satan can only try to copy things but uh, 
it's with a perversion attached to it and uh, it's, it's very sad I mean I really feel for these people because uh, they're made to think that they're something that they're not and that they can never be um, and it's very sad you know it's, it's very sad indeed um, sometimes it's even harder these days to um, be what we're created as <laughs> you know because the, the whole world is going against the creator of, of the universe so please just uh, give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ repent um, seek forgiveness and mercy be filled with the Lord's Holy Spirit you know as, as the Bible says believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and be baptized and you shall be saved you shall be saved hallelujah just living in a very very sick world just now it's pretty wise word self-hatred is not therapy we're meant to love God and each other or our neighbor as ourselves we're not meant to hate what we are we're not meant to, meant to hate what others are and if indeed other people are going down the road that they want to be identified with a different gender um, there's something very wrong with that and I, I do pray for these people yes hell is real hell is real So please, um, just seek the Lord and he will do a miracle in your life. Just as many, many thousands of ex-transgender and ex-sodomites know and they've seen the light, they've seen the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, they've been able to overcome. You know, there's a real question mark about Michelle Obama being, being born a male. I'm not really sure about that, but... Um, well, it's, it's maybe possible. I'm not entirely sure. You know, there's pictures of her when, when apparently she was a, a female when she was younger. But uh, <laughs> um, hallelujah. Stay blessed. <laughs>